What's going on, everybody? It's Wade here again. Um, if you're normally watching my horror block videos, you'll notice that I didn't do one last month. I did get a horror block last month, but uh, the uh, video got corrupted somehow, and uh, I decided not to do it again because uh, that would take away from the surprise element of my unboxing of it, which I felt would be it'd be uh, not genuine if I went through again and like acted surprised. So uh, I decided not to scrap it. It was a lot of really cool stuff. I got a uh, a misery T-shirt, a key hanger that looks like the red rum door from The Shining. Uh, Pennywise the Clown plush doll, a Dark Tower print, and a, an autographed picture of PJ Souls from Halloween. You know, uh, Bob the Ghost's girlfriend. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. All Stephen King themed stuff. This month, however, is October's box. So you know it's going to be good. There's got to definitely be some stuff from Halloween in here. I think the thing said there would be some Ouija stuff in here, which I love Ouija stuff. Um, anything to do with Ouija boards, I'm all in on. <laughs> uh, and uh, Halloween is my favorite movie series, my favorite horror movie series, I'd probably say, if I had to pick one. So yeah, this should be really interesting. Um, packaging is a little more, it's a little different this time. Usually it's just, you know, standard box, bloody hamper on it, but now we've got like this, uh, we've got like a Gremlin, Freddy, a couple other things. What else? Like, like a... Like a Dracula silhouette over here, some bats, some graves, some hands coming out of the graves. It looks like a uh, one of the chest burst <laughs> bursters from Alien right there. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this up. We got some plastic wrap on the box now. I'm getting more rigorous with the packaging. I like it. It's the box is just having tape on them. I was always worried that you know. It'd, Somebody at the post office could be like, ooh, I like horror stuff. Now I'm going to get me some. <laughs> so, okay, I'm sitting over here. I'm just going to grab things out of here blindly and show you what we got in this month's Horror Rock. First item is the t-shirt. It's the first thing I grabbed. For the t-shirt, oh, I can already tell this is going to be awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. It says, uh, Run For Your Life, Haddonfield High Horror Track Team, 1976, or 1978, my bad. That's on the movie was, yeah. That's awesome. The Michael Myers face there. Oh, I love that so much. This is probably my favorite t-shirt I've gotten out of these uh, boxes. Because like I said, I'm a huge uh, Halloween fan. I always have been since I was little. Whenever we'd go trick or treating, AMC always runs like their horror movie marathons during the Halloween season, and uh, somehow that movie was always on when we got back from trick or treating. Probably because they they always put it on around the same time every year. But I don't know that it was always just kind of like a staple in my uh, you know Halloween nostalgia, if that makes sense. But yeah. Really cool shirt. I'm probably going to wear this today, probably. Uh, Hanfield High Horror Track Team. Off to a good start. Next item is a Ouija. It looks like a money clip. Yeah, it's a Ouija money clip. This thing will focus. There we go, it's focused. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Nice. It's like shiny. Got all the uh, stuff from the Ouija board on the planchette there. Uh, that's cool. I uh, suppose I uh, never really thought about getting a money clip, but I could give it a go. My wallet's about to give out, so if I get any cash, I'll just put it into this bad boy here. I could probably put it, like, coming out of, or maybe, like, on the pocket of this vest thing here. How sm somebody's supposed to have fat stacks if the Ouija... <laughs> The Ouija money clip won't open up. There we go. That's kind of that's actually kind of awesome. Yeah, I dig it. Okay, next item is a pin. It's a Dexter pin, and it looks like it's uh, full of blood, kind of deal going on there. That's awesome. I um, wonder if does it do anything when you? It's kind of like you like push it down to. Right. I wonder if uh, I wonder if the ink is red. 
If the ink is red, that's gonna be a total win. Ah. What better thing to use than some Rally's coupons that I have? <laughs> of course I've got Rally's coupons on hand. You never know. And the ink is blue. The pen is blue! The goddamn pen is blue! Still cool though. Dexter pen. On to the next item. We have Demonic Toys. This is a movie I've always kind of heard about but never seen before. It's from the Full Moon Features. I think they do uh, the Ghoulies and the Ginger Dead Man and Evil Bong. So you know it's going to be super campy, super B-horror film kind of stuff going on. Uh, you know, Haunted Toys. That's got to be interesting by itself. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'll definitely have to give that a watch. And uh, maybe do a review. That's one thing I've uh, kind of wanted to start doing on here is horror movie reviews. I've done a couple of things before with this short-lived series that I was starting to do called Quickies where I re reviewed like movies and uh, you know music stuff. Uh, never, I kind of trailed off of that. Um, but I feel like uh, since everything on this channel has been kind of horror-centric lately, I've just started doing horror movie reviews because I watch a lot of them. So why not? Next item we have it's kind of something hard. Uh, Walking Dead ruled journal with Michonne on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, looks like it's a leather bound kind of deal. I don't know, this is a little problematic for me because I'm not a big Michonne fan, if I'm going to be honest here, but uh, it'll still be cool to have because uh, I've, uh, last season or two of Walking Dead, I've been kind of eh on, but this Negan guy, he's making me want to watch it again. I like him a lot, he's funny. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's open this up and see what kind of, what the pages look like and stuff. Just, yeah, your standard pages and whatnot, you know. But in the back, there's something here. It's got this in the back with a little pocket, which has an advertisement for more Walking Dead stuff. <laughs> well, I thought that was going to be something interesting, if nothing else. You got a little pocket to hide your shit, I guess. Uh, Walking Dead Journal. I actually might gift this, because uh, I know a couple people who are Michonne fans and who are like diehard Walking Dead people, so... Give me opportunity to give somebody a gift, horror block. I thank you. Oh yeah, it's got katanas on the back because we should have katanas. All right, next item is oh shit, we got oh man, we got another signed item in this box. It's an autographed picture of Doug Bradley, who is of course Pinhead from Hellraiser. Uh, another person who's always at horror conventions around here that I haven't gotten a chance to meet yet, but uh, I love the Hellraiser movies, so to have a, that is legit Sharpie there. Um, I hear this guy is super, super nice in person. I've talked to a couple people who have met him. Uh, so this is really cool, and it comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity right there. Doug Bradley as Pinhead. Uh... So, wow, that's crazy. I love that they've been sending signed items in these, like the PJ Souls one last month, and now Doug Bradley, holy shit. I mean, PJ Souls, not to not to knock her, but she's kind of uh, not as, I mean, she's not like a uh, prominent, you know, iconic character in any horror movies, uh, more of uh, one of the victim in horror movies. But Doug Bradley, I mean, that's that's fucking Pinhead. I mean, he's one of the originals. The original slasher, you know, guys, you know. So this is awesome. This is, I'm going to probably frame this uh, for sure uh, whenever I get a chance. So, yeah. Cool, cool. Doug Bradley signed picture of Pinhead. And uh, this is the, uh, probably the room morgue. I'm not sure if it's the last item in there of the month. But uh, it has I Am The Pretty Thing That Lives In The House on the cover. I've seen that on Netflix. Haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. Another one I'll probably watch and maybe do a review of. Um, it's got an article on Rob Zombies 31, which I watched the other night at the American Dream Hi-Fi um, in, over in uh, Kokomo, Indiana. I'll put a link to their page. You should definitely check them out if you like 
vinyl, beer, or food, or movies, or a combination of all four. So, anything. I, I got off on a tangent there with that, but, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, this is obviously awesome. I love Rumor. I tell you every, every month of this, um, so yeah, I, I'm excited to give this a read at work probably tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here. It looks like that might be, it might have been it. Uh, it's an advertisement for Dexter with a 30-day free trial to show.com with Horror Block, but I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because you got to get Horror Block and do it yourself. Uh, Ten dollar credit to Nerd Block or the uh, Nerd Block shop. Which I'm assuming they're doing in association with uh, Shirt Punch, uh, which is an awesome website, I will say. Uh, next month we should expect something. Oh yeah, it looks like they're definitely doing Christmas themed kind of gearing towards that part of the year. Gremlins, Krampus, and Freddy vs. Jason in next month's box. I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, just the uh, this thing telling you all the stuff we got this month. Four of which were exclusives, which is cool. Uh, so nobody else has this sweet money clip that I've turned into a, a jean jacket vest uh, money <laughs> pocket clip. Uh, so yeah, this month has been awesome as always. A uh, couple of things really, really struck my fancy, as you could tell. And uh, I'm ex I just I love this box. I love getting this every month. It always uh, it always brightens my day when I get the uh, message in my mailbox. You had a package delivered at the office. You know, you, if you live in an apartment, you know how it is. But yes, thank you for watching. As always, um, sorry again about not having one last month, but uh, I'll try to keep that from happening again. Maybe record it from two different cameras at once. So, uh, I'll have at least one good file on hand. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.